The royal family from the kingdom of Wakanda began long, long ago. The first to invoke the power of Bast the Black Panther God was Bashenga. He served to protect the great mound comprised of the rare and powerful metal vibranium. As the Black Panther, he began the royal lineage of the Wakandan people. Many kings of the growing nation of Wakanda followed in his paw prints to rule as the Black Panther. During World War II, Azuri the Wise would protect Wakanda from an invasion by Hydra who sought their vibranium. With the Wakandan border secured, Azuri would join with Nanli to have two sons. The younger son, Yasan, who would have a son himself named Tishan. The eldest son, T'Chaka, who would take over as ruler of Wakanda with his wife, Nyami, as his queen. Together, they would adopt a foreign child named Hunter and have a biological son named T'Challa. After the death of Nyami during childbirth, T'Chaka would have two additional biological children. The first Chakara was born with an unknown woman. Chakara, who would later ascend the ranks to general of the Wakandan army. T'Chaka would go on to marry Ramonda and together have a daughter named Shuri. The royal family includes important members of the royal court. Mbaza, advisor to T'Chaka, and Mbaza's two children, Kanata and Bitumba, as well as Zuri, T'Chaka's personal bodyguard and confidant. After the death of King T'Chaka, his son T'Challa ascended the royal throne. Surrounding the new king of Wakanda is his second-in-command, Wakabi, as well as the Dora Malaje, or in English, the Adored Ones. Together, Narima, Okoye, Nakia, Ayo, Aneka and Tila serve as the king's personal guard. Though would-be usurpers like, like Eric Killmonger and Mbaku, T'Challa remains the rightful king of Wakanda. Long live the king.